Seek impossible objectives. Set goals that are conventionally impossible for humans, especially goals that are impossible for your current self. Take, for example, an ultra marathon, let's say 100 kilometers. Now, if you have never run a day in your life and you bite off more than you can chew, you'll pull a muscle immediately out of the starting gate. And sadly, Frederick Nietzsche's Was mich nicht umbringt, macht mich stärker. isn't always applicable. Pain causes growth. Sufrir es crecer. No pain, no gain. Lifting weights burns the muscles stronger. Overcoming emotional trauma matures the victim. Frigid water quickens your constitution. I would say vegetables taste bad, but they're good for you. But <laughs> vegetables only taste bad if you're bad at cooking them, so learn to cook. Now then, pain causes growth. In general, the more painful something is, the quicker the growth it causes. But injury is usually a setback. However, there is always something to be learned, a lesson to be gained, an experience to be made. Had a bad breakup? Well, communicate better next time. Sprained ankle? Well, stretch more. Boss fired you? Well, show up on time more often. As much as I hate to admit it, being human means that we are limited. Acknowledge your limitations. Study them, reflect on them, understand them, so you may work around them, but always aim above them. Never, under any circumstance, say, I am stupid, I am weak, it is too hard, it is too big. Nice. Also, if a goal is easy, it's too low. As I said before, don't bite off more than you can chew. So, to achieve an objective that is impossible for your current self, you must set the requisite stepping stones. James Doty quotes his meditation teacher, It just takes practice. Just try to stop your thoughts for a second, then a few more seconds, then a little longer. Just because you don't know how to achieve your impossible goal doesn't mean you don't know how to get to your first stepping stone. And when you step on the first stone, you will then see the second. With every successful stride, you will grow. And with every benchmark you satisfy, the path ahead of you will illuminate. The most intimidating moment will be the first moment you come face to face with your impossible goal. In that moment, look behind you, at the mountain you have climbed to get to where you are. Remember the person you were when you began. Reflect on the progress you have made since then. Then charge full speed at your impossible goal. Many cultures have a trial system to prove oneself, a rite of passage. The Mawe Sateri use a bullet ant ritual for the boys to become warriors. The Maya use Bok da Bok to determine who was most worthy of being sacrificed. Army rangers have ranger school, Navy SEALs have butts. The entirety of Spartan life, which culminated in their preference for death rather than defeat. The Soko Shunbutsu. It's pronounced Soko Shunbutsu. Don't ask. Practiced asceticism to the point of death to achieve enlightenment. Fire burns and growth hurts, but that growth cannot be undone. 
That maturity, those experiences, that knowledge and those lessons cannot be taken away. Once you cross your impossible river, you will never be the same person. Baptism by fire burns the ships. Explorers of old journeyed into the darkness. They did not know what lay ahead, but they threw themselves at an objective that challenged their survival. Alexander the Great is remembered as the great because he did what seemed impossible. Victory requires sacrifice. Fire consumes all. After accomplishing your impossible objective, your old self will be nothing but ash. But you will rise like a phoenix, a new creation of your own design.